The biggest reason people are confused is they're bringing their internet brain to the blockchain, thus they can't understand that you can own something digital, which is why that big joke, well, I'm just gonna right click and save it, well, that's an internet function. It doesn't work on the blockchain. I'm a purebred entrepreneur for real, for real, for real. Like, documented. Been through the mud and now I'm growing in sunshine. Well, yeah, really good. good. Excited. Me too. This is my dad, Sasha. Hi. Yeah. We've all been aware of QR technology for 20 years. It took COVID to get people to actually menus. use it. Yeah, menus. menus. So I think everybody here will know how to use this. I just want you to see how frictionless this is. This is a PO app, so it's not full Web 3. I would call this Web 2.5. You take this photo and you'll have a digital asset if you put in your email in about five seconds. Now having a digital asset might be a frictionless kind of experience that takes one minute that might spur ideas that you might bring to your organizations. So we wanted to just do that. So I hope you do that and uh, hope it starts your journey. Olex, it's Gary. Uh, big shout out, big love to Ukraine. I hope we get to meet my friend. Very nice to see you. Take care, Alex. One question, I'm a photographer. I've sold many NFTs, but where would you recommend me to, you know, to sell my stuff? With which platform? Which one All do you of believe them. in? All of them. You know what I mean, my friend? There's no reason not to be on foundation and rareable and open sea. Why would you create friction? It was just like when people used to ask me, Gary, what social network should I produce on? I'm like, all of them. If you're trying to sell something, why would you create friction for someone? The only reason you're seeing that now is the early artists are being artists. Got it? They're being cute. Yeah, Time to go. Yeah, yeah. 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 Gary, can we... Gary, what you did was unparalleled. History is going to look back at you and smile at you as one of the key voices in onboarding. Thank you very Actually, much. Uh, Thank you, brother. Hands down. Thank you for saying that. What is the biggest challenge for the NFT marketplace in the next couple of years? The challenge of time and getting kind of the stink off of the you know, bad behavior of the gold rush, those two things stand out. What's your definition of creativity? You can be creative in any medium you want to be, whether it comes from being creative and innovative in your business, or making your art, or designing clothes, or just the way that you present yourself to the world. Um, and then, you know, with Web3 and these metaverses, you can be creative in ways that are not even possible in the physical world. I like it. Beautiful. Awesome. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Oh, Crush. This, is, uh, this is a good room. Hi. Hi. I'm Hyla. What's happening? I'm Gary. Hi. Hi. Chris. How are you guys doing? How's Cam treating y'all? So far, so good, Hyla. Yeah. NFTs. That's yes. The theme of the week. We just did that talk. Yep. Are you guys like the king and queen? Can we like? Crown she's definitely you guys? the queen. <laughs> I'm not sure what I am. Maybe the the jester, but uh, she is definitely the queen. Okay. What's the skepticism? What? How are you still trying? What are people still not getting about NFTs? From my perspective, it's that they don't understand that it's on the blockchain and not the internet. The real reality is people used to make fun of their parents for not having email, for not having social media, for not having a smartphone. The big reality is most people have become their parents and they're gonna have to understand that truth. This is a good team. Clearly, I see why you guys teamed up. Nice job, good running into you. Thank you, have a good time. Have a good time. Have Bye nice. now. You gonna find your real room in now? That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I think we're going back to the boat. Okay, let's go. I take caution now who's watching and who's plotting. It ain't shocking these niggas be on the low stocking. They wrote it's funny that you guys brought up Roblox. I was in Romania a couple days ago and in the, I, I, I asked the audience, I said, do you understand that between Minecraft, Roblox, Madden and 2K points to power up, Candy Crush, everybody under 15 is only being trained into buying things that are digital versus buying things that are physical, only. when. Somebody who's 13 today is literally 23 in 10 years. It goes like this. Right. And they become the market and uh, I, mean, I, I don't even know how it's a debate to be honest. And so consumer behavior does not map to Wall Street or crypto prices. And, and I think that's where the conversation starts and ends. Welcome everybody to Can. Um, most importantly, 
just thank you because I know you have unlimited, unlimited options of where you're gonna spend your time in this very short week and so let there be no confusion. We are substantially humbled by you choosing to be with us. Um, and uh, I wanna thank Paris for the incredible uh, keynote that we just gave. I thought you were amazing on stage and as someone who fancies himself in being underrated at times. Um, it's, it's, it's always very fun for me to see uh, others navigate the world and be underrated for whatever their circumstances are. I find you to be one of those people and so I really appreciated sharing the stage with you and uh, hope you have a great time and thank you for being here. Cheers. Why does somebody really buy an Andy Warhol? For a lot of people they love Andy and it's cool, but for a lot of people they buy it to put in their wall and when they're having dinner parties or business meetings or friends over, they're like, my Warhol. How many people could actually see that Warhol? For that reason, 30, 250? Whereas where it's going and it's been proven out already, I mean, this was early talk and that's exactly what's happening. A lot of the reason people are buying is to flex. It's no different than having, why did sneakers become big? People flex their sneakers. I was literally just walking up here and somebody had a very rare Nike pair. He was walking out, I said, nice kicks. He was pumped. That's why he bought them. He bought them for somebody to say that to him. And that's exactly what's happening with NFTs at scale. People will buy it because they're gonna flex. And a lot of people are like, when they were arguing with me, they're like, I don't care about a digital asset. I remember my one friend who really went off. He goes, I just, this is the stupidest shit I ever heard. I said, brother, you called me six months ago and asked me to get you a blue check mark on Instagram. I go, that's a digital asset. And that's where it flipped for him. He understood that it's just communication. Let's just think about this space always. You know? Every time you cross always. my mind, it hit different. It seemed like since you left, I feel like something is missing. Ain't been the same, I've been hurting. It's got me up in my feelings. I know you watching, so I pray and I just hope that you listen. I wanna say that I miss you. Hey, just know that I ain't forget you. Hey. Being always you is extremely hard. That's all I got, the crap. Like everything that is wrong at VaynerMedia is 100% my fault. Why take on that accountability? That's the price of entry to be a CEO.